Okay, I'm going to show you how to shoot video on an iPhone 4 and edit it and then send it somewhere using Dropbox. So first off, I'm going to assume that you're using an iPhone 3GS that doesn't support uh, I iMovie, therefore all you can do is just snip videos. So to shoot video, there's lots of different apps. The one that comes with is just the camera app. Tap the camera app and it launches and by default down here in the corner it may be at a uh, in camera mode if you want to shoot video you just move it over to video mode now by default it's a square image but it's actually recording 16 by 9 video if you just double tap there now you see the full 16 by 9 video again it was recording 16 by 9 the whole the whole time it just didn't show you the whole frame so now 16 by 9. Just so you know, this is a, the uh, field of view is equivalent to a 35 mil lens on a film camera. So I'm just going to hit record. I'm just recording nothing. I'm recording the wall, whatever. It doesn't matter what I'm recording. It's just a demo. All right, so I'm recording and I'll hit stop. Okay, now let's say I want to send this video. I tap the bottom left corner right here and that brings up the last video I shot. Or I can tap camera roll and look at my camera roll. You could also access your camera roll just by going to the Photos app and that brings up your camera roll. So there's multiple ways to get to your camera roll. Okay, so the last video I shot right there, seven seconds, tap. And here's the video. Now say I wanted to send this whole video as it is, I could, but let's say this video was say a minute long and I just wanted to snip it down to say 30 seconds. On the left and the right here are little tiny tabs. If, if your menu goes away you just tap and it comes back. See? Tap, comes back. There's a little tab. I can click and I can move that to there and I can move that to there. So again, say this was a minute long, I could tell my video to start about there and stop about there say that was the segment of video I wanted. It's kind of hard to tell because this is just white blob, just the table, but imagine this is the beginning of someone talking, this is the end of someone talking. I now hit trim. Trim original or save as new clip. I'm going to hit save as new clip. Let it chug away for a second and blammo, now we have a new clip. If I go back to my camera roll, here, the original seven second clip and here's a three second clip. So this is the three second clip this is just the you know video of the guy talking I want to send. I have a couple options. I can go here, tap the bottom left corner, and I could go email video or send to YouTube. Now, if I go email video, and uh, you know the maximum video I can send through 3G, I believe, is about 10 megabytes. So if it's a short video, that's okay. But video. Email is not really the best thing to use for sending videos. You could go to send to YouTube. Now to send to YouTube, what you do is you go to your YouTube app, there, and you go, done, done. You would go to, come on, there, done. Any second now, done. Ugh. You go to like more, and then sign in and you'd have to already have a uh, YouTube account set up. That's where you would s put your YouTube account info in to your phone is through the YouTube app. And then when you go to email of, or you can, when you bring up a video, tap, you go send to YouTube and it'll upload to YouTube instantly, very, very fast. Your third option, and it's actually kind of just a little bit better option if you're working in a newspaper or somewhere, is go launch the Dropbox app. Dropbox is free and awesome. So Dropbox app is free. You can get, uh, I think, two gigs of web of uh, Dropbox. It's basically cloud computing. It's just free web space. Go to dropbox.com. Launch your Dropbox app. And here, I'll go back to the beginning. So let's say we dr launched our Dropbox app. This would come up. If you go under settings, you can go to upload quality and you can tell set your image quality and your video quality. Now right now I have Wi-Fi so I'm going to upload my full HD video, but say you were uh, remote and you had a uh, bad internet connection or whatever, you might want to lower the quality. But for this example I'll do HD settings, home. So now if I want to upload a video, I go to my Dropbox. Dropbox is like, imagine this, these as just files sitting on a server somewhere. 
uh, that's, that anyone can access. I tap on the little camera here. What would you like to do? Upload a new video or existing? I tap existing video, go to my camera roll, and there's that little three second video that I snipped out. Again, imagine this is some, you know, news event or something. I just snipped it. Tap, hit choose, and it will upload. And blammo, there's the video sitting on the Dropbox server. I can now just tap this video. And it will come up in a second. There we go. And now I can tap this little chain link in the bottom left hand corner. And I can go email link. And then I could send this. I'll just send this to myself. But I could send this uh, video now and what it does is it takes the direct link to that file it creates a little tiny URL for it and you would just hit send and uh, to your you know to whoever and they would automatically get a link to be able to download that video instantly and this is like so fast so then that's kind of one of the faster ways to send video and also you don't have to be clogging people's emails up with uh, gigantic videos so those are three different ways to upload a simple video clip and this would be the same method for an iPhone 3GS or an iPhone 4.